Hello. In this demo video, I'm going to show you how to add and manage new users. As a listing agent, you can decide who gets access to your short sale files individually. So if the same user has access to one file, um, it doesn't mean that he or she has access to your other short sale files. I'm going to open up my demo short sale file here. And I'm going to scroll down and on the left hand side, just under main info, you have your users management section. Click on the triangle symbol to expand the section. Here you go. And you have a few users that are already preset, that already been pre-filled for you. Um, first of all, it's your processing company. If you chose National Closing Center as your processing company, you're going to see National Closing Center's information automatically pre-filled for you. Um, at the same time, you're going to have your escalation department, that is National Closing Center's escalation department contact information. Um, as a listing agent, if you are a listing agent, your, your information is also pre-filled. Uh, this is my demo name and my contact information. And then again, as a person who has uh, initiated that file, you have um, ability to unlink yourself um, and link somebody else um, in, in a event that somehow listing agent changes, which is an unlikely event, uh, but you do have that ability. What you can do, you can also connect your selling agent um, to the file. And um, it is kind of an overlooked uh, and very, very important feature uh, because that's the um, purpose of Realty Prox, really, to bring all the parties together. So by not forgetting to utilize this um, user's feature, you're going to make your own life easier as a listing agent, and you're also going to make your selling agent's life easier and save a lot of time for yourself um, because in a typical short sale transaction, um, all the phone calls uh, from the selling agent are coming to your office. They're usually asking the uh, same information all over and over again every week. Uh, what exactly happened with the file? Where are we? We're going to, when, what time are we going to close? Um, and so on and so forth. So Realty Prox um, saves that time for you by allowing you to link the selling agent. And so once you link the selling agent, they get access to weekly updates. Um, they get access to messaging. They can send messages to you. Um, again, they have uh, limited access, so they don't have access to all the um, personal information, social security numbers, and things like that. They don't get to see your private notes. Um, but what is most important in that situation is they can see uh, what happened with the file. They get access to weekly updates, um, and they can message you and ask questions or send emails and documents. Um, the process of linking agent or any other party, any other user is very simple. Um, just simply click link and then um, click add. And then you have a couple options. You can find selling agent by name in the database. So if that person is also a user of Realty Prox, you can sim simply perform a search. Let me do this. I know this agent is using uh, Realty Prox. Uh, first four letters are sufficient. And you can get a few choices of uh, real estate agents uh, whose names start with C-O and N. And uh, you can kind of hover over and see just to make sure which one is, uh, is your correct agent, if the last names are similar. Um, and once you select the uh, agent, the correct agent, uh, you click on their name and the system autofills um, all the blanks for you. So uh, their email address, the name, everything is already pulled from the database and entered for you. What you do have to do is you have to manually confirm their email address just for the sake of accuracy because uh, that's the email address that they're going to get all the updates about the file. So you want to make sure there are no typos. Double check, triple check the email address and confirm it and uh, their phone is already pre-filled and click add. Let me go back right now and let's pretend that the agent is not in the database. Um, as I said, let's say I'm looking for that user but the user is not in the system, they're not a user real the prox. Um, so you have an option of uh, entering that agent uh, manually. You have to fill out the company name, the first name, the last name, 
and confirm their email and their phone number. Normally, if you are working with a, with a selling agent, you do have that information at your disposal. So uh, once you have that filled out, again, click Add. And uh, the difference between option one and option two in this case is that the system, the real the prox system, is going to send an email to that particular agent, to their email address, um, stating that you as a listing agent is using real the prox, that it's a free uh, transaction management system, and then that they are invited to access their um, files, the common files, the ones that they're working with you on the files as selling agents. Um, on the Realty Proc system. And again, you don't have to type an email or do anything else at that point. Uh, once you fill out the information and click Add, the system takes care of sending the message and it even generates a temporary password for that agent. Um, so all they have to do is go to realtyprox.com or simply click on the link and follow that link. Um, enter the temporary password, uh, change the password and they immediately get access to uh, the same file. As one more note, in uh, judicial states um, under users, let me go back again, in judicial states like Illinois and New York, um, under users you will see also uh, both attorney, selling attorney and buyer's attorney. And attorneys are usually very, very active participants in the system. They get a lot of documents. They need to communicate with all the parties. So if you live in judicial estate, if you're a real estate agent in judicial estate, you should definitely uh, add your attorneys, make their life easier, uh, make life easier for yourself and for your clients. Um, so this is it. Thanks for watching. This concludes this demo video.